Hello friends, welcome to the first part on making of a squid game in scratch. So in this part we will be making our own custom backdrop and then uh, make a mechanism to rotate our doll according to whether it is a red light or a green light. So without further wasting any time, let's start. Next, let's uh, delete our default sprite and let's click on the backdrop menu and click on the paint option to make our own backdrop. So for the backdrop, we will be using some square shapes and some lines to create our own backdrop. I hope you guys will follow along the video. Now let's write ground as a costume name of our new backdrop. Now let's click on the sprite selection menu then search for the sprite penguin and we are going to select the penguin 2 costume. So this uh, sprite uh, has the perfect costumes for um, making the turning effects. Next. Let's go to the events menu and drag a when green flag click block and then after that let's go to the looks menu and drag a set size block and let's edit the size from 100% to 60% so that our penguin is a little bit smaller for our case and drag it uh, on the middle of the stage like as shown in the video. Now let's go to the motions menu and drag a go to xy block so that whenever we click the green flag it will go back to its original position now let's go to the costumes menu and we have four different costumes let's uh, just delete the first costume so we only need three costumes okay now let's rename our costume the first costume that's looking uh, towards us so let's uh, name it yellow next one the one facing uh, away from the ground uh, let's name it green and the third one first of all we have to just uh, flip this uh, costume so let's uh, click in the arrow sign and let's just flip it horizontally so that it will be facing towards the ground and this costume name is going to be red now let's click on the quotes menu and now let's go to the controls menu and drag a forever loop now let's go to the looks menu and drag a switch costume block inside the forever loop let's select the yellow costume first okay now let's go to the controls menu and drag a wet block below the switch costume block and let's edit uh, the 1 seconds to 0 0.2 seconds. Next, we will go back to the looks menu and drag a switch costume block again below the weight block as shown in the video. And this time we are going to select the red costume. Let's go to the variables menu and click on make a variable and let's make a light variable. So this variable is going to help the values like yellow, red and green. Now let's drag a set variable block below the switch costume block and make sure it is selected to light 
and let's write the value red for our case as the doll will be facing towards the ground and that's the red light now let's go to the controls menu and drag a weight block below the set light block and this time we are going to wait a random amount of time for that let's go to the operators menu and drag a pick random number block inside the weight block now let's pick the random numbers from 1.9 to 4.1 now let's go back to the looks menu and drag a switch costume block and select the yellow costume and next we are going to the events menu and drag the weight block and just wait for 0.2 seconds and next time we are going to go to the looks menu again and drag another switch costume block and this time we are going to select the green costume now let's go to the controls menu drag a weight block and it's time to wait for a random amount of time for that let's go back to the operators menu drag a pick a random number block inside the weight block and let's wait for about 1.6 seconds to 3.9 seconds next let's go back to the variables menu and drag a set light block evolve the weight block and write the value of the light to green this time let's click on the green flag and let's look at the output so at first the doll turns uh, towards the ground as it is a red light first and then after waiting for about a random amount of seconds it goes back uh, towards uh, turning away from the ground as it is a green light and that's what we want and thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video